Samantha, Abhideya, Prayer. Uh, these three things, the whole Vedas are divided into three steps. Samantha, what is our connection with God? That is called Samantha. And then Abhideya, according to that relationship, we have to act. And why do we act? Because we have got the goal of life, to achieve the goal of life. So, what is the goal of life? The goal of life is that to go back to home, back to God. That is the goal of life. We are part and parcel of God. God is Sanatan, and He has His own abode. Ah, Sanatan. Parasasmatu bhavo anya bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. There is a place uh, ever existing. This material world, it will not exist forever. Uh, it is bhutta bhutta praliyate. It is manifested at a certain death, just like your body and my body. It is manifested on a certain death. It will stay for some time, it will grow, it will give some byproducts, then we become old, dwindling, and then finish. This is called a sarobhika of anything which is material. But there is another nature where there is no sarobhika, that is eternal. So that is called sanatana, dham. And the jivas, we, living entities, we are also described as eternal. Na hannate hannamane sarire. And uh, the Lord is also addressed as sanat. So our real uh, situation is that we are sanatan, Krishna is sanatan, and Krishna has his abode sanatan. When we go back to that sanatan dham and leave with the Supreme Sanatan Krishna, and we are also Sanatan. The process by which we can achieve this highest goal of life, that is called Sanatan. We are exhibiting here Sanatan Dharma. So Sanatan Dharma and this Bhagavad Dharma, the same thing. Bhagavad, Bhagavad, from the word Bhagavad, Bhagavat has come. So, uh, this Bhagavat Dharma has been described by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he says, Jivere Sarupai Nitya Krishna Dhar. We are eternal servant of Krishna. This is. Uh, but at the present moment, with our material connection, uh, instead of becoming the servant of God or Krishna, we have become servants of so many other things, māyā. And therefore you are suffering. You are not smiling. That cannot, uh, it cannot fit. Uh, just like you take one screw from the machine, uh, if the screw somehow or other falls down, it is no way. But the same screw, when you fit to the machine, or the machine is not working for one top one screw, uh, it is in disturbed condition, so you take that same screw and fit it. And the machine working and the screw becomes very valuable. So we are part and parcel of God, Krishna, Mamayivam to Jiva Buddha. He says Krishna. So, we are now separated. 
we are fallen down. See, another example is just take big fire and the small sparks. The small spark is also fire, so long it is really fire. And if somehow or other the sparks fall down out of the fire, it extinguishes. There is no more fire quality. But if you take it again and put it into the fire, again it becomes spark. So our position is like that. Somehow or other, uh, we have come to this material world, although we are a small particle, fragmental parts of the Supreme Law, but because we are in this material world, we have forgotten our relationship with God and our manasasthani indriyani prakritisthani karsati. We are struggling uh, against the laws of material world, so many other things. Here also we are serving, because we are eternally serving. But because we have given up the service of the Supreme Law, we have been engaged as servant of so many things. But nobody is satisfied. And uh, no, 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 just to say, and nobody is satisfied. This is why it cannot be satisfied. Uh, it cannot be satisfied because uh, we are it constitutionally servant of God, but we have been placed in this material world to serve so many other things which is not fitting. Therefore, we are creating plans of service that is called mental concoction, manah sasthan indriya, prakriti sthani karsati, struggle. It is a struggle. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama.